Welcome to another episode of Album Review Series. Ian here. On this episode, we will review One OK Rocks Jinsei X Boku Equals. This is requested by my friend Alex. And if you're excited to watch this video, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow my social media accounts. One OK Rock is a Japanese rock band formed in Tokyo, Japan in 2005. The band currently consists of Takahiro Moriuchi on vocals, Toru Yamashita on guitars, Ryota Kohama on bass, and Toyo Makanti on drums. They play many different styles of music with the songs ranging from alternative rock and emo to post-hardcore and pop rock. Jinsei X Boku Equals is their sixth studio album released on March 6, 2013 and managed to reach first place in the Oricon Weekly Chart. This album brought One OK Rock to worldwide popularity. My most favorite tracks in their album, those are Juvenile, Ending Story and The Beginning. On the song Ending Story, the bridge part is my most favorite in the song. The hitting of the drums on that part brings all out. Same as the guitar. You will love to bang your head when you listen it. And pang wall of that yung bagsakan. Ang galing. And the song is really pumped up that you would uh, mosh in the entire song. The song The Beginning, this track is the official soundtrack of live action of Rurumi Kenshin. And at first, I'm not interested on the first parts of the song. But when the chorus hits, it caught my attention. You will love to sing along on the chorus parts and I'm amazed on Takahiro's singing style. He has an amazing uh, voice. On the song Juvenile, this is my most favorite song in the entire album. It has a lot of good features from sing-along and party vibe chorus, heavy breakdown on screen, and catchy melodies. All in all, this is a complete package in the album. And Takahiro's vocals shows he sings perfectly. It displays his powerful voice in the song. He owned the stage very well and he brings out all of his talent. I like the screams part. It brings out the heaviness in the song and I love to bang my head. The chorus, you will love to sing along to him. And I could feel his uh, energy when he's singing this song. The melody of this song is also engaging to dance and mosh. The guitar and drums is also catchy and in it steals my mind. Talagang nakakahawa siya pag pinakinggan mo yung kanta. Nora Ball mentions in the album, those are Onion, Deeper Deeper, and Nothing Helps. On the song Onion, this track has a hard rock vibe. You would able to hear the hard rock vibes on the intro and the guitar solos. And I could say that Toru did a good job on the guitar plays and the vocals is also remarkable that you would instill your mind and you would love to sing it again and again the track deeper deeper this was used for Suzuki Swift's TV commercials and I'm impressed on the transition of the song it's unpredictable it's not the same melodies that they offered on every case on the song and the heaviness of this song is really great. Track Nothing Helps, this was featured on the video game DMC Devil May Cry. The guitar riffs of the song outstands the most and 
it offers the catchy tunes that you will love to listen it again and again. The part 10, 10, 10, that is my favorite part. That part, I really love to repeat it again and again. The drum also amplifies the greatness of the song. The track, All Mine, this is my least favorite song in the album. I'm not a fan of uh, ballad music since this track has a ballad influence and it differs the vibe from their previous tracks but I'm impressed on their versatility and delivering the songs in the album they could do the ballad thing in this track while the other tracks showing the the heavy tracks and like a alternative rock style it's time for the verdict what would I say for one OK Rocks, Jinsei X Boku Equals. I could rate this album as 4.25 out of 5. The album offers an array of musical influences from alternative rock, post-hardcore, power pop, and hard rock. I'm impressed on their versatility. When I heard this band, my impression is they just singing metalcore to rock tracks but it exceeded my expectations most of the tracks are heavy that you could bang your head and start a mosh pit and i could say this album is a mix of alternative rock to metalcore musically speaking takahiro stands the most in this album i love his powerful voice that you could sing along to him he provide an excellent job on singing the songs and he is so versatile when he sings ballad to end with some screams. Toro delivers a perfect guitar place. He brings out the catchy tunes and brings out the heaviness on each guitar place. Moya did also a good job on drums. Every time he hits, it brings out the song Headbangable. Lastly, Ryota's bass did well and is actually the last missing piece to make the song perfect. Hey, so we're already done the album review in this episode. Let me know your thoughts for One OK Rocks, Jinsei X Boku equals. Just uh, comment it down below. And if you like this video, then don't forget to send a thumbs. And if you have an album review suggestions in the future, then please let me know. Comment it down below so that I could read it. Again, this is Ian from the Reaper Rocker vlog signing off. Rock on, Filipinas!